Parker? I guess they're her favorite gay blind girl. So he's like, yes. I said, well, here, take this back because I don't need all this. My thing was, I had wound up spending money. Hello? What's going on? So, oh, girl. <laughs> Oh, you can't yeah, see anything. Yeah. No, because cause, no, cause this line is like three, four hundred people. Okay, go ahead. Right. I, I just step away. Oh. So, like, I'm but you know. Okay, so first of all, let me make the make the story that this lady got on here. It makes sense. And plus, I wish I would have snapshotted some text messages before we got back on this. On this. Let me see if I can get on my tablet then. I'm but anyways, first of all, why was Santana lawyer? Like just knowing how legal shit was, why was Santana's lawyer send send information that they have on the club showing that it's a violent club? No, so, no, no. Listen, why, why would, why would, why would his lawyer even be sending Daphne information? If you get what I'm saying, a lawyer is not going to do that. Listen. We used to somebody. That's a fact. A lawyer not gonna do that. Shit. When you you to, know that. I'm gonna tell you. When you sue somebody, there's something called discovery. And yeah, yes. the discovery. You. you but she you, said his lawyer. She said his fake ass lawyer is the one who sent me all of the. All of, these are her words. That I don't know about that case, but I know that that Tana's lawyer would send. Okay, this is, you're saying my client didn't come up to your event. I'm trying to show you why my client didn't come up. So he, right. her lawyer has the, the Santana's lawyer has the right and pretty much the responsibility to send to Daphne's lawyer before they go to court. So that you know, like, so they, like if they want to settle the matter before court, like this is the everything that I have. This is the causation. Um, like I'm saying, like I'm suing somebody right now. I cannot say about who it is. But y'all think about it, y'all might know. But because of that. There's certain information that I'm getting from them to show them what this wasn't tied to that. To, to, you know, even information about their business and information about where money went according to something. So, right, so they never even went to they never even went to court to go to discovery. I didn't go to court yet. I'm getting information. I'm, I'm, That's what I'm saying. So none of that, so they would have never got none of that information until they went to discovery. So that lady is lying. And y'all said they let her lie to y'all. Okay, so but I'm gonna tell you this. What's up? The part she not lied about is that video. I saw why? when that was sent. So first of all, I'm gonna tell y'all why me and my boyfriend. I'm gonna tell y'all why me and my boyfriend wouldn't send that video. First of all, me and my boyfriend don't carry ourselves like that. We have we both have businesses and we both have a brand together. So why would we why would we sit here and why would we sit here and put out our business as far as like putting us in the light of being fighters or being ignorant when we out here trying to we didn't first of all we didn't move away from new orleans louisiana to make money but then we're gonna come to new orleans and then start a whole nother life somewhat and then build that whole life around the same lies and fighting and all of that that don't make no sense but what if you just saying like look this is my little chance to finally stick it to them people that i don't like I don't like these people too much. Now, I mean, me and you never had an issue, okay, but we had a little word here on uh, social media. So this is a chance for you to get me. This is a chance. Not, it was the host of the party. This is a chance to get nut. You know, Bam is going to be there. This is my best friend. So you're going to have to them. I don't know them people. Like, honestly, honestly, I never knew that that was your best friend. This is my first time finding out that that's your best friend. But you know, I'm, I'm okay. So you know, even though you knew that that was the click, I knew he hang. I knew he hung around you, but I never knew that was your best friend. Okay, so this, but hey, so this is your chance. Here's people that you don't necessarily care for. Here's your chance to stick it to them one time. You have an inside track to this man. You have an inside direct connection. I'm not thinking. Look at my text. Look at my messages. When I text, when I text Santana, this is what our messages be about. It be about when we linking up. Okay. This, this what this what me and Santana about you in Atlanta, yay! I got some stuff for you. What's your measurements? Your measurements changed. That's the kind of stuff me and him talk about. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see what it say? Yeah. Yes, I have green screens. We can meet, and then you see how it's been like. This was no. This was October thirty, October twenty second. The boy didn't respond to me until. Fuck, he still ain't responded to me. Okay, <laughs> so come on now. I don't, I don't have no, I don't have no reason to um, I don't have no reason to lie. Right. Nice. Would you have um? So, so now that you know, 
You could and then fact, and then even even with that, Daphne sitting here talking about some. She called me to book. She called me to book book me for a party. Daphne, you don't have the money to pay. Like this, first of all, is at the end of the year I wasn't doing no free little hundred dollars. Anytime I ever did any for anything for Daphne, Daphne never had all of her money. Never, 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 never ever had all of her money. <laughs> Even when I decorate, even when I decorated for, but for um, first first of all, I don't even do nothing for nobody. Even out here in Atlanta, I haven't walked out my house for less than two hundred dollars to go decorate a party out here in Atlanta. I was decorating for for um for for Daphne for less than seventy for like seventy five dollars and shit. Just you know, just just because I worked there and I wanted the vibe to look nice, and that's something I take pride in decorating. Decorating is something I love to do. So why not take the opportunity? You have a big venue. Yeah, I have extra balloons. Why not go ahead on and decorate your event? Yeah, it will. It will be something. Right. Uh, uh, may I, so I, I guess the, it, it just the, the fence is out. Um. Uh, you know, I guess the, the jury's out on the subject. You can't, you know, you say you didn't, definitely say you did, but somebody did send a video. And somebody did send a video, but why would I? I'm I'm sorry, my boyfriend don't even like that video. He hate that people call him bad news. That's that's not true to him. That's embarrassing. Correct. Like that's not something we trying to live and and, and do. So like that's like why would I send that? Like, I don't need nobody to know that bitch I can handle my own, uh, I'm a badass bitch. I don't, I'd rather people think I'm sweet and kind until they piss me off and I turn into this whole other person. Okay. Like, I mean, like, that shit just, everything she was saying didn't make no sense. And just like I could call Brandon on, um, on, um, on my other, on my other phone. And I'm, I'm pretty sure he, he'll let y'all know that bitch when we saw her in, um, when we saw her in, um, when we when we saw when we saw Daphne when we saw Daphne and Rose, I was telling Daphne was telling me about how much she missed me and this and that and that and that and I was telling her, well, girl, you know, I wouldn't, I can't, I can't come back there, and that's how me and Nut ended up having it last fight because I ended up coming to the vibe because I let Daphne bust me up because of course I get in the vibe free. Right. I drink for free, so I mean, why not come? And then you're sitting here, you know, you basically telling me, you know, all that we don't let them go down at the club. I came to the club and I still, because I was so drunk, because when I'm sober, don't nobody fuck with me, and that's that's on period. Don't nobody fuck with me when I'm sober. All them days when I got off work and hoes wanted to fight me, ain't nobody ran up and and the one little boy that did run up, bitch, I did him in. So it's like. I'm not about to sit here and try to prove nothing to nobody. I'm not about to sit here and try to, like... It's like, bitch, why would I want to knock her from... Like, I love Daphne. I don't have nothing against Daphne, so why would I want to knock Daphne from making her the money? Daphne gave me Daphne gave me a place where I could sit and have events and throw events and shit. So why would I sit there? Like, I don't even like that she did that. Like, I hate that people get on social media and they... Like, Daphne, that's something you could have called me. When you called me and you talked to me, you never said nothing that you felt like. Or even once you got the information and the people was telling you that I did that, me and you got such this rapport that you sit there saying, what you would have did if you felt like somebody who you fucked with close to and you didn't have nothing, to, you didn't know nothing about it. What you would have did? You would have called my phone, right? I would have got, yeah, I would have got I'd have talked to you directly. You have my you have my number, Daphne. We didn't text multiple times. When we texting about priests, or when we texting about Fred, or when we texting about all these other people that you want to talk about, because I got the text messages. Daphne is a very messy lady. Oh, what are those text messages? Say? Yeah. So now, now since she want to be petty, I'm gonna I'm gonna send I'm gonna send them to you, and you will you, you're welcome to post them. Oh, you know I will. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna send them to you because only, only reason I'm gonna send them to you is because it's just like, bitch, don't sit here and put yourself don't sit here and put yourself in those situations. So well, now you're going to have to explain to your club manager why you was having all these sidebar conversations about him talking about how messy he is and he keep up all the confusion at your club and all of this and all of that. Oh. And, every, and every time it came around for an event, you had to ask me to decorate because you couldn't get a hold of Priest. Because Priest was shading you because he didn't want to come decorate for you. Oh. Yeah. So, oh, well, I would. I need to see what that's about. I, need, I would love to see. 
the your, your proof about that, but that's very interesting. What does she have to say about Fred, apparently? Huh? What does she have to say about Fred? Oh, she swear to God, Fred always. And now since we get into it, that's the DJ who I got into it with. Okay. That's the Fred jumped across the ball on me, and me and Fred was about to fight. Okay. And but we we didn't fight, and I'm so happy we didn't because I ain't gonna tell you. I promise y'all, I'm I'm really not with that shit. Like I'm, my body won't even really allow me to fight like I used to no more. So I'm really not with that shit, and I'm really not about to sit out here and risk my life or even play like that. Right. Just trying to fight nobody or whatever like that. But right. free came, free came, ex for drinks for free. Mm -hmm. Daphne had already told me, like, I don't give away drinks for free. I just don't. That's not what I'm a, that's not what I'm gonna do. First right. of all, every everything, every improvement that happened at the vibe happened because of me. So now, like, I really feel I really feel some type of way. That's why just why when she was sitting here, she was able to sit here and say that I'm so smart, I'm so talented, I'm this and that, I'm that and this. Because I mean I'm when I started working at this lady bar, this lady bar went from making five hundred to six hundred dollars a night to Sixteen hundred, two thousand dollars a night. You seem to be a little. You got a little head on your shoulders, I guess. You do have a business and you promote your business, creative huh. things. Remember, you're promoting the business. As huh. well. So you take your business uh, business. I know you. Do. Huh. Her liquor prices raised. I raised her premium liquor prices because she's so based on she's so based on feeding to these poor people. She's so based on her clientele being broke that she's willing to. Oh, it's five dollars to get in. No, bitch, out here in Atlanta, it is twenty dollars to get in the club. And it's forty dollars for VIP. And your and your little your little cup your little cup of drink be about this about, about this day for ten dollars. I see. And ain't nothing cheap. Ain't no drink cheaper than ten dollars. You can go in Daphne drink and buy anything off the boat for less than ten dollars. But guess who changed that? Dino. Dino made her prices go up. So do you? Can y'all get it? So can you adapt with your business? Is this a I'm not, like I was saying? I was never upset with Daphne. I don't have no beef with Daphne. Daphne is just an old lady who don't like. I feel like she's sitting here getting on social media. She be with all the rah rah. Like she be wanting to be in the. I don't know how to explain it because. Yeah, like she a boom. Like she be in the mix. She pretend. Daphne pretend like she don't never know what's going on. Definitely pretend like she don't be knowing what's going on, but definitely be knowing every single thing. So look, I got it. So in your, you, you, we talk about how smart you are. We talk about how intensive you are. You speak very well. Who? You didn't send a video. Who in your mind actually sent the video? Who in your mind actually? Try to sabotage the ball. Who do you think it was? Because I ain't gonna be able to send them to you right now. I can't get to them. <laughs> who? Who? Because you didn't do it. Let's put it down. Uh, the way. Same as you did. Who do you think? Who? Who could? Who? Who? Who could have wanted to have the ball to sabotage that bang that they sent these people these items? I don't know, and I don't know why those items would. What? What would him? What would him getting a video of terrorists chasing somebody with a bat? Why would that make him not show up to the club? See, it, ain't gonna be there. it was a combination of things. The first part was that the girls in New Orleans have something against you. That's where the video of me said, they say I was shading them in the video. So he was like, oh, make shake it was shading me in the video. So as I saw the video, the video is one on YouTube where me, I'm on live with Spencer, and they were telling me this video was taking some time, like over the summer, June, July or something. And the video was like me saying, well, who is y'all talking about? And they said, uh, Santana. And I said, who that is? I really just didn't know. And, and I know that sounds crazy, but in that in that point, I didn't know who she was. And so I was like, oh, girl, well, she's a crayon cutie girl. And then I was, just, I was you know, making my little jokes and whatnot. Wait, what's who a crayon cutie? Same time. I was making, you know, my little shady little jokes or whatever, whatever. But it was not too serious. And I was just like, what? And so Stetson was like, oh, yeah, because she was in Houston, a host wedding. And I started laughing because we had saw a video. And that's uh, pretty much it. So the next part about that was they said, she said that she have a threat. The threat come from Dean's song, which was Big Feet Kicker. And so then the next part about that was like, you go in there thinking you're going to be safe. The people want to do you something. They don't like you. But here is the video of how it goes down there. And so what they sent was a video of the bat situation and all the foolishness that fucking really happened that night. That's the basic rundown. 
I hate them. They want they want the rest of the tea about three. <laughs> but um nothing definitely just used to like I would like save that for the next episode. Just save it for the next episode. Save it. For the next episode. <laughs> we say save it. I guess next on my next ride home from work. <laughs> Can we hear Dean's song? I do have it in my Yeah, play it because I never heard it. <laughs> I really want to hear it. <laughs> it's, it's actually a good song. It's really funny to me. I like it. You, you um, said that we were never friends. You said that y'all were never friends. <laughs> that's not his reality. Tasha, from his perspective, you were his friend. Here you go right here. I think, yeah. Bitch, I'm a, I'm a well Daphne. And I still don't have no beef with her, but now since you want, I must show facts, though. You can't even show your facts, but I'm going to show facts. I promise you, I'm going to show facts. It was the fake freaking monkey when the drama went down. I was on your scene, dominating your town. I'm the motherfucking mean bitch. I didn't been found. Fucking whole Santana, I'm going to put her down. I'm a big seat, kick 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 a
Let's <laughs> relocate to Woody's. Woody's ain't ready for that. Woody's ain't ready for that. Hello. Girl, girl, you said your ugly gorilla and looking ass bitch. You ugly gorilla, monkey, raggly ass bitch. What you want, bitch? You Hong Kong? We're happy now. And who want that work, bitch? Ain't nobody want that work, bitch. What's up? 